Hey everyone, this is Mike with Jedamin, and this video will learn how to connect to Google Sheets, which is probably one of the most popular data sources out there due to its simplicity and affordability. And maybe even more important than that, we'll learn how to prepare our data to make sure that it's imported correctly and everything works smoothly. Because there are several caveats here and there, particularly in the case of Google Sheets. All right, now let's get started. Minimize the camera. And before clicking into this, we'll go into our data. I have the company's spreadsheet here, and this is actually a proper structure, so you can use it as a model. And there are a few things done correctly here. The first one, a very important one, is that your first row has to contain headers. And every column that you have has to contain a header in its first row. All right, moving on to some no-nos that you shouldn't be doing inside of Google Sheets. At least you should get rid of those things before connecting it to Jet Admin. The first thing is merging cells. If you have merged cells, you have to either delete them or unmerge them because if they're unmerged cells, it's not going to import correctly. Another important point is that if you have big gaps in your data, Meaning that if you have a few empty cells here and there, that's totally fine. But if you have big gaps of empty rows, I highly recommend getting rid of those because that might cause some issues later on. Another important point is uh, many people like to store images in Google Sheets and it's either in, inside of a cell or, or a several cells. It doesn't matter. In both cases, it's not going to work. So if you have images in Google Sheets, you'll have to store them separately instead of, for example, Google Cloud Storage, or instead of Airtable, or instead of Jet Tables. And the last thing is sometimes when you import a CSV, especially, you might find this little sign before the number, and this is also the wrong structure. You have to get rid of the sign. Otherwise, once again, you might have issues. All right, that was it. Uh, as for the data hygiene, now that we have our table prepared. Let's jump right into connecting it to JetAdmin. All right. So what we do here is we click on Google Sheets and we authorize JetAdmin to have access to your Google Sheets account. All right. We choose the account and we click Allow. And after that, we get this interface where we can add multiple files before adding this resource. And I'll choose from the drop down here uh, my accounts sheets. This is my accounts sheet. And I will also give it a name. I'll choose it to companies. And I can choose a sheet because my uh, file here, my document here, consists of several sheets. I can choose one of those sheets. I'll choose companies. And another important point is range. Uh, the range pretty much tells the system what columns it will look into and what columns it will connect. So, so the last column that I have here is I, which is correct. It's from A to I. You can manually broaden the range if you want to, if for some reason JetAdmin doesn't detect it automatically, but in most cases it works fine. And you can, as I said, stack your files here. You can click Add File and you can choose accounts and you can choose, for example, uh, customers and import the second table. And we'll choose it to customers and the range seems fine as well. It's until J, all right. And that's pretty much it. We click add resource. And here we have the prompt of choosing the mode, the connection mode. We'll touch upon this in a separate section or a separate video. For now, I'll just choose direct and click continue. We'll just use blank just to get quickly to our data. We'll click manage our data. And here it is. We have our data inside of Jet Admin. We have companies and we have customers. All right, great. That was it. Thank you very much for watching and have a great one.